All right, welcome back, everyone. So we're going to start this next uh, chapter here, this set of topics. Uh, the first one in this is angles of triangles. And we're going to be looking more at proofs, uh, some of these geometry topics that you guys may have seen in the past, um, but definitely are important to know. Okay, so the first one is another one of these theorems. And hopefully um, this is something that's going to make sense and you guys can catch on. So the triangle angle sum theorem. What this says is the sum of the measures of a triangle is 180 degrees. And this is a theorem which means it has been proven and it is now a rule you can use. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. I've got three angles here. Okay, I've got angle one, angle two, and angle three. Angle one, angle two, and angle three are the insides of a triangle. Well, if you think about, if I extend this line here and consider those parallel, then line up great, but consider those parallel, um, angle three and angle five are alternate interior angles, which means they are congruent. Okay, so these two here would be congruent. Angle four and angle two are also congruent. So since one, five, and four make a straight line, and two and three are congruent to five and four, you know, in relation, those three then also have to add up to 180, and that's a proof. So that's something that you guys should remember. All right, so when will we use this? Something like this. Find the measures of the unknown numbered angles. Okay, so we've got a few different examples we're going to look at. We'll work through this first one together, and then you guys can try the next one on your own. So we've got, in this first example, I've got 37, a 62, and an unknown. I want to know what is that unknown. Well, if all three of them have to add up to 180, that means that I can take 180, and it has to equal 37 plus 62 plus angle 2. And you can call it a variable if you'd like. Either way works. And then you solve this. So you've got 180 equals 99 plus angle 2. Subtract 99. Okay, so those cancel out. And then you take your 180, uh, subtract 99, and that's going to tell you that angle 2 equals 81 degrees. All right, so we know that one now is 81 degrees. Well, we look across our triangle, and we now see maybe we could solve for this one. Well, if you notice, angle 2, or sorry, angle 3 and that 62 degrees make a straight line. And straight lines have to be 180 degrees. So if we take 180 minus 62, we're going to get this angle is 118 degrees. Well, then we look at this the same way. Those two there, plus angle one, have to be 180. So 180 plus, or sorry, 180 equals 118 plus 28 degrees plus angle one. And then we go through that same process that we did above. We add 118 and 28. So we got 180 equals 146 plus angle one. Subtract 146. 146 and you got 180 minus 146 gives you an angle of 34 degrees and you have now solved angle 1, angle 3, angle 2 and there are your solutions. Alright, so using that same idea try this second example over on the right, pause the video, come on back in a second and we'll look at it. Okay, so for this second set here, try and identify what might be the easiest thing to solve. Well, it might be best to start with angle 6. We know two of those three, so that's probably the place to go. So if you take 180, subtract the 65, subtract the 58, it tells you that angle 6 is going to be 57 degrees. Okay, so we now know angle 6 is 57 degrees. Well, if you look at angle 6 and angle three, uh, 2, we'll start with angle 2. Angle 6 and angle 2, those are directly across. And we've seen before those are what are called vertical angles. So vertical angles are congruent, which means that angle 2 is also 57 degrees. Well, what that does is it allows us to solve angle 1. You have 67 here. You have 57 here. So if you take 57 plus 67, that gives you 124. Subtract that from 180. And that means that angle 1 is 56 degrees. Okay, so now we've kind of worked our way through. Um, the last two that we've got, or last three, res reside in this triangle here. Well, if you look at these two, they are a straight angle. They're next to each other. And angle 6 was 57. So since they're a straight angle, you take 180 
minus 57, and that means that angle 3 is 123 degrees. So here is 123. Okay, now you've got these two angles here. They've got the congruent markers. This is an isosceles triangle. Okay, so since we know that, they have to add up to 180. Now the trick of this is you take 180 equals 123, which we know, plus angle 4 plus angle 5. Well, those are the same thing, so I could just call them x, and if we call it make them both x, we essentially have x plus x. Or, another way to think of this is just 2x. And now you solve this. You take 180 minus the 123, and you've got 57 equals 2x, divide by 2, and angles 4 and angle 5, because they are the same, is 57 divided by 2, which is 28.5 degrees, and you now have all of your angles. Okay, so the fact that these add up to 180 is very helpful. Um, you just, picking two that you know, subtract from 180, that'll help you find the third. <coughs> Alright, we also have angles that are called interior and exterior, and this is going to show a relationship between a couple different things. So angles 1, 2, and 3 are interior angles. And you see here, I've got my triangle. Okay, so here's the triangle. And angles 1, 2, and 3 are on the inside of that triangle. They're interior. Angle 4 is on the outside. Okay, it is exterior. Okay, so exterior angles um, are the uh, two angles, sorry, the two angles not adjacent to the exterior are what are called the remote interior. So what that means Adjacent means next to, so angle 1, angle 2 are the remote interior. Now that helps us for this next set of uh, properties. So the measure of an exterior angle, which is like uh, number 4 up here, is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. Okay, which hopefully makes sense, because if you think about angle 1 and angle 2 in this drawing, angle 1 plus angle 2 they're saying is congruent or equal to angle 3. Well, angle, don't take out angle 4, sorry. If you think about it, angle 3 and 4 make a straight line. That's 180 degrees. Angle 1, 2, and 3 are the triangle. That's 180 degrees. So because of that, angle 2 and angle 4 are going to be congruent. Okay, so using that property, here's what we're going to be asked to find. Okay, so find the measure of the unknown numbered angles. Well, what that property said <coughs> is the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So this one on the outside here is equal to the sum of those two in there. And sum means addition. Okay, so we go 2x minus 15, that's my exterior, equals x plus 50, sum of my two interiors. And now we just solve this. Okay, so subtract x, add 15. So my x is cancel, my 15's cancel. Right here, I've got 1x equals 65 degrees. And so it says find the measure of the unknown numbered angle. That's not my measure, that's my x. Okay, my measure is this. Well, that one is x, so that angle is 65 degrees. The other thing I have to do is take and substitute it in here. So I go 2 times 65 minus 15. So 2 times 65 is 130. Minus 15 is 115 degrees. And there's my answer. And now you can check that. Uh, based on that property, it should work out that my x plus 50, so these two, adds up to 115. Well, 50 plus 65 is 115 and it works. Alright, I want you guys to pause the video, try that second one right there on the right, and come back and check it out in a second. Okay, so for this last one, um, here's my exterior angle, here are my remote interiors. Okay, my ro remote interiors are 37 and 90, so when I add those two together, it's got to equal x plus 23. So let's check and see if it does. So 37 plus 90 gives me 127. Okay, that's true if it equals x plus 23. So I subtract 23. 
And so those cancel. I've got x on the left or on the right hand side. On the left hand side, 127 minus 23 is 104 degrees. And there's my x. Now it asks me for the actual angle. So I take my 104 and substitute it back in. Okay, so 104 plus 123 equals 127, which works out because of what we saw up here when we added those together. And there you go. All right, so that's dealing with the angles of triangles. Uh, if you need some help, let me know. Otherwise, good luck on your assignment.